Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! That's right, my name is Lazius K. Oof, I'm so excited to be talking about hand tracking technology. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Well, I'm really so thrilled to try this out. This is fantastic. Now, once you have managed to update your quest to number 12, if, by the way, uh, you want to get this like right now, you just can't wait, link in the description below to Tarrell's video on his YouTube channel because he can take you through it as to how to do it really easily and he explains it much better than I could. So go and check out his video, link in the description below. How do you make this work once your head has been updated? You go to settings, then you go to see all, then you go to uh, experimental features and go to hand tracking. Now, when you enable it for the very first time, it will take you through some tutorial as to what to do and how to use it. But I'm gonna show you very quickly, briefly, you know, what happens. So I'm just gonna disable it and then enable it again. What happens is, boom, my hands are here. It's amazing. I mean, how cool is this, guys? Come on, I mean, we're part of something really new here. State-of-the-art technology, no other headset does this. It is so madly, insanely cool. Now there's a few things to take note of. First of all, be very patient. It's new technology, all right? There are some kinks here and there, and I'll tell you what, you know, maybe to watch out for. How to be able to go from hand to controller. Okay, so all you do is you pinch your hand, boom, like this, and bang. Now it's changed into a hand icon, and I can use my controllers. How cool is this? I mean, this is really simple. Wouldn't it be really cool if game developers create a game where, you know, the moment I put on my controllers, it knows and I don't have to click on anything or change anything, you know? It just goes straight to hands, to controllers, straight away. I think that would be really awesome uh, and, and really help the gameplay to be much, much fluid. Let me just click on hand, use hands. There we go, we're back in hand. Oh, look at this. Look at this, so nice. Now, there are some issues and you do have to be patient. First of all, you will see these gray round cursors there, right? It would be great if some, if uh, maybe they could do one white, one black, or one red, one green, I don't know, just two different colors or two different shades of the color because it can be very, like, I don't know, sometimes I'm like, is it the right one, the left one? That can be pretty confusing. Um, and then also the other thing is my eye wants to move it, not my hand. It's very strange, like the brain. There's a big disconnect between the brain and my eyes. When you go down, make sure you tilt your headset with you because if you don't do that, it won't work anymore. So you might get impatient or if your headset is not tilted down properly, uh, it might stop working. So just be very, very patient. Now the way to make this work is you have to pinch with your hand. You see how it changes color, it becomes a line. So to pinch and hold means you will, you know, be able to stick things. When you just pinch, it means select something. Uh, I would also change the icon because it looks like a, a teardrop that comes comes out of an eye. So it looks pretty sad to me. Uh, I would definitely maybe change it to a cube or a sphere or something that I'm squeezing as opposed to, I don't know, a teardrop. But that's just my personal opinion. So let's go into the store. So I bring down my, uh, my, my hand and my headset and then I go to navigate and then I just pinch and what you do is you hold, you pinch and hold and then you drag and there you go. This is how you navigate up and down, okay? And then you can also, of course, do left and right. Oh, sometimes there is, it does stick. So make sure that when you let go, you open your hand completely so it doesn't stick. Don't keep your hand like a few centimeters above after you've let go of the pinching, otherwise it will stick. And then basically you can, you know, do this. Now, if you find that one hand doesn't work, you can also take both hands and do it at the same time and then it will work, okay? So these are just some tips um, as to how it, you know, what, what happens. But so far I haven't had any issues with my Guardian. Uh, my Guardian has been absolutely fine. Everything works okay. Um, I haven't encountered any problems with my headset so far so so far so good and I can't wait to try titles uh, I would also ask oculus if possible to add a, uh, a a filter here where it says hand gesture 
so that I know that if I click on it, then all the games with hand will basically be hand tracked games. So they might want to create a filter like that. And then also maybe put a little icon next to a game if it's a hand gestured icon, like maybe a little hand, a palm hand or something. So at least it makes it very easy for us to know, uh, you know, which one is with hand tracking and which one is not with hand tracking. It would be great if I could put a boxing glove on. All right, so I got my boxing gloves on and I can't see my hands anymore. So as you can tell, uh, basically hand tracking doesn't work if you put gloves on. Well, not boxing gloves anyway, maybe it works with Winter gloves? I don't know, try it out and let me know if it works with, with gloves. Leave a comment in the, you know, leave something in the comments below. Let me know if you tried any gloves or put some socks on your hands. I got no idea. But, you know, some, whatever. Just, just let me know in the comments below if anything works, if you put something on. You know, maybe developers want to take note of this uh, so that it makes everything a bit more real for us. So yeah, not too bad. Right, let me take off my gloves and boom, my hand is back. So there you go. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. Remember, check in the link description below, go to Tarot's video on his YouTube channel so that you can get your headset to be updated to number 12 right away. All right guys, remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that more and more people can get to see this video and we can grow the community and help as many people in VR as possible. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. Until next time, take it easy, DJ, cue music.